Good morning, home builders. This is day five's uh, devotion. That was supposed to be last Friday. I was uh, busy tearing out a bathroom and did not get to this. I apologize. So this was uh, last Friday's and and uh, Brother Matt will be doing this week's. But uh, day five is let us kneel out of Psalm 95 verses uh, one through six. It says, oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the deep places of the earth. The strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his, and he made it, and his hands form the dry land. O oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. This phrase, let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. Uh, as we praise God, it uh, it shows the worship, the uh, what we think about God. Uh, he has in here in this devotional guide that we're using, uh, you know, from the time of the shepherds and the wise men, uh, people were bowing down to Jesus even as a child. When Peter uh, got off the uh, through the water, he kneels before Jesus. On and on, we see people kneeling before God, uh, and it is an act of worship. Uh, the word worship means worth ship. All right, it means worthy of the wor the worship that is being uh, given to him. So as we consider who God is in our life, as we think about renewal in our life, one of the things we need to look at is where is the place of God in our life? Do we see him as worthy of our worship? Is he the focus of that? And uh, I love this phrase. It says, there is a strong bond between worship and in obedience. As we become obedient to God, as we worship God and see him for who he truly is, we will be obedient unto him. Uh, in John 14, 15, it says, if you love me, keep my commandments. And as we love the Lord, as we worship the Lord, we then become obedient to him. So encourage you to be looking to the Lord, not to our own selfish desires. And as we go through this week, uh, our renewal principle is reflecting on the majesty and glory of Jesus should drive us to our knees and worship before him. I hope you guys have a great week. I love you guys. If we can help you in any way, please reach out to us. Bye.